Now, Ukraine and Russia have been locked in another legal dispute over Crimea. The two nations have been fighting over a precious collection of gold artifacts from Crimea. They were on display in the Netherlands when Russia annexed Crimea in 2014. The Dutch appeals judge uh, judges are set to give their verdict in the case today. Russia has appealed against the 2016 ruling by the Dutch court. The court had ruled that the artifacts must be returned to Ukraine because they are a part of its heritage. The pieces, including gems, helmets and skibards, uh, the most significant artifact is the 4th century helmet, which highlights the rich history of the peninsula. Now, the nightmare for residents in Congo comes true as its uh, city of Goma becomes the recent target of the deadly Ebola virus. Now, Goma is home to about 2 million people who are running the risk of being affected by Ebola, a uh, epidemic which broke out in Congo nearly a year ago. The agent to bear the virus is a priest who got infected uh, in a town 200 kilometers north of Congo. The man came in close contact with the Ebola patients there and was immediately transported to an Ebola treatment center after detection. The latest official statistics list a total of 2,489 cases of Ebola in Congo. Ten people have died in the Ebola attack, while 12 new cases were confirmed over the weekend. <laughs> However, preparations for combating Ebola have been long underway in the Democratic Republic of Congo. The officials saw it coming and had set up hand washing stations across the town. Measures of avoiding contact with anybody contaminated with the virus has also been put in place. On Monday, the World Health Organization issued a warning that the risk of the virus spreading fast increases if it is taking root in the densely populated uh, cities near the Rwandan border. C'est que c'est la maladie, il y a beaucoup de formations qui filtrent dans la ville et on n'a pas suffisamment de formations. Euh, mais à ce que je sais, c'est que la maladie Ebola, c'est une réalité que les gens devraient comprendre et s'adapter aux mesures de prévention qui nous sont communiquées par les services à titre à cette matière. Sinon, nous avons appris du cas qui nous est raconté, le cas de quelqu'un qui serait venu de Boutemboy qui, qui a été déclaré positif. Euh, je pense qu'il faut suffisamment de communication à ce sujet pour que les gens soient euh, vraiment informés de cette réalité.